What's up, everyone? We came to La Selva Beach to just hang out and absorb some nature. I'm here with my cousin Paola. Hey, guys. I'm going to give you all a little view of La Selva. Check it out. We're heading down to the train tracks to just to fucking walk around and see what we find. Yep. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day for once. It's been rainy and shitty the past week and a half, two weeks out here in Santa Cruz County. We had to take advantage and come hit the beach up now that it's sunny. Last time I went to the snow, I was uh, 11 years old. Damn, really? Yep. Uh, it's fun. I did snowboarding. I fell on my ass a lot. <laughs> so we're up here at the bridge where it's terrifyingly hot. You're never gonna catch me doing backflips on these things like all these other YouTubers. So, okay, I'm getting scared now. No, that's even worse. What? Why? Because you can see directly down. Hey. It's fine. Look at this. Look at that. What do you know? We're doing this. <laughs> We're doing this. We are doing this. <laughs> we did it. The bridge is behind, behind us. How do you feel? Pretty good. Totally wonderful. La Selva. Uh, I believe it's still in Watsonville. The outskirts. The cuts. The cuts in Watsonville. This is a beautiful location. And I know I am I am super grateful to be able to up and go to the beach whenever I want. And I know a lot of people don't have those opportunities. So I want to at least do these places some justice and bring you all beautiful, beautiful footage of how nice it is out here. <laughs> Don't sleep on Paola. She's got big things coming. But we're staying positive, so yes. <laughs> That's the key, staying positive, everyone. Life's always gonna throw things at us. It's always gonna try to bring us down. And it's always gonna have something negative to say, whether it manifests in friends, family, or life just simply not going your way. There's always gonna be negative things being thrown at us. And it's not about not having things being thrown at us, it's about how we're gonna handle those things being thrown at us. Yeah, I agree. We all have to handle it different ways. Sometimes some of us handle it not the wrong way, but not the best way either. It can be hard sometimes for sure, is <sighs> dealing with stuff, but you'll get through it. Like, just always think like some people are always doing like bad like worse and some people are doing better but the key is to like just deal with it with your your own way there you have it folks we all have a little little sadness in our hearts from time to time we all have things we're going through but surrounding yourself with positive people is key but with that being said i'm gonna get back to some footage of the train tracks and the beach and I hope everyone enjoys. We're walking this dangerous bridge again and it's full of oil so I am freaking out a little bit because Your girl's coming over here. yeah <laughs> smart woman it was just International Women's Day yesterday I believe so shout out to all the lovely women out there we wouldn't be here without you
<laughs> I'm scared of heights and bridges and things like that. I'm terrified of the San Francisco State Golden, uh, Golden Gate Bridge. I apologize in advance if you don't get a lot of footage from me on San Francisco's okay. Golden Gate Bridge. If I can borrow the camera and I'll take you guys with me. <laughs> Life is a journey. Work in progress always, right? Right, right. You always have to work on your soul. You're always gonna have your ups and downs. You know what we didn't do? Hmm. We didn't give viewers a little bit about yourself. Tell them about where are you from. Tell them about why uh, are you here. I'm from Watsonville overall. Um, the biggest life issue that I had was coming out to my parents and dealing with my depression and anxiety. that those sometimes are the people that go through the most. I'm sure some of you watching can relate to that. And yeah, her message is on point. I really believe, you know, I come from a similar background, um, coming from depression and anxiety. Uh, I don't even know when it started, but I was pretty young. Um, I totally understand where she's coming from with it and it's not a good feeling. So that's something that pushes me to this day to want to be here for other people who feel like they need someone there who someone who doesn't have someone there for them. Um, I'm happy to be here for her. Yes. And I'm super thankful that she's open and vulnerable enough to share her message with strangers on the internet because she understands the value of her words and she understands how it can help someone out there. So I'm super grateful for that. Yeah, I agree. Like to the viewers or if you were, literally if you're just one person, there, we're out here, like, we, everybody has gone through something, and I, I'm open about it, because I've already dealt with it, but when, if you were to tell me about a depression or anxiety, when I was younger, I would be like, oh, I'm so sorry for you, but I was definitely, like, going through it as well. When I first started understanding that I was depressed, I was mostly around people who dismissed depression they were very quick to dismiss the existence of it the reality of it and uh, most importantly the severity of it oh, yeah. but if there's any way you want to help someone um, it's just hearing them out if there's anyone you need to help with their depression and their anxiety um, yeah. just literally hearing them out listening to them without judgments without making them feel like the way they're thinking isn't logical just being listened to because here's the thing, we also understand how crazy we sound when we speak out loud the way we the way we feel and the way we think. Exactly. We know how which crazy why, we sound. Which is why it's also scary for us to speak out because then people are going to be like, you're crazy. Like, oh, millions, millions of people have committed suicide because of depression and anxiety. Like, they, they never had that, that person or that like help, helpfulness to get help or to actually like have uh, someone like I'm grateful for him <laughs> and I'm grateful for my family because 
once they saw that I was really depressed and needed help, they got it for me. And I can't say that for a lot of people. A lot of people do not have that support. And if you see somebody literally just like be like, are you okay? And that can make a difference. That can make a huge difference. And sometimes like you don't have to give your opinion out about anything. You just literally have to hear them out. That's about it. Yep. Those are some hard facts. One of my biggest purposes for this channel is simply the fact that I want to help people out there who need it because let's be real, close friends and family sometimes aren't there for us the way we need them to be. And that's okay. You might be hearing this right now and thinking, how is that okay? It's okay because there's always gonna be someone out there who's willing to help and listen. And you don't have to rely on the people that are already physically, blood, blood wise, close to you to be those people for you. It's just important to make sure you surround yourself with people of that caliber, people who will help because at the end of the day, you are the product of the five people you spend the most time with. It's a lot of people. Well, I have a small circle, so for me, that's a lot of people. It's been fun having you all along this ride. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to and meeting my lovely cousin, Paola. Hi guys. <laughs> He'll put my social media if you wanna talk. <laughs> yeah, a link to her Instagram, to her IG will be in the description of this video. Um, I'm stoked to bring this one to you all, so yeah, catch you all in the next one.